privilege to extend on behalf of the entire team a very warm welcome to the opening ceremony of Phoenix House International School. It's a delight to have the presence of Her Excellency, Ambassador Julia Longbottom, Suzuki Sensei, the former State Minister of Education, and Matt Knowles, the Director of the British Council of Japan. We're so happy to see so many of our community members attending both here in person and virtually. We have so many special guests joining us today from around the world via YouTube live stream. You've all been instrumental in our successful launch and I'm delighted that you're here with us today to celebrate the official opening of our wonderful school. It is with great excitement that we are extending the British educational platform here in Japan and adding to the landscape of fantastic schools on offer in Tokyo. On the first day of term, I held a whole school assembly for our pupils, looking at a range of different and unusual doors. We questioned what may be on the other side of each. We thought about some doors being familiar to us, and we know what's waiting on the other side, but some doors are unfamiliar, and as we pass through them, we enter the unknown. These doors very much present a door of potential, a chance to step out of our comfort zones and have new experiences. This is very much the message given to all at Phoenix House to welcome new possibilities and step through the door of opportunity on every occasion. We join you today from our fantastic new art gallery space and in front of me, behind the curtains, is our new school plaque ready to be unveiled, which marks the opening of the school set within the Musashino campus, university campus. This plaque symbolizes new beginnings and working together, we will develop into a truly outstanding school and community, providing a fantastic experience for our children, who will always be at the center of everything we do at Phoenix House. In due course, this plaque will be moved and permanently placed outside the front gate of the school for the entire community to view and enjoy. Today marks the start of something truly special, and I'm absolutely delighted to be sharing this moment with you. Of course, the current global pandemic has presented a wide range of challenges, particularly with regards to travel restrictions. We're now in week six of the academic year. However, my personal journey with Phoenix House began in January when I was based in the United Arab Emirates working remotely to recruit our wonderful team. The staff and I embraced the power of technology and the use of Zoom to begin building connections as a group. All of the teachers at Phoenix House are trained in the national curriculum for England and the vast majority joined us directly from the UK this summer. Of course, this was no mean feat during a pandemic, so I wish to thank everyone for their input, ensuring that all staff were in Japan through their necessary quarantine period and on board in time for our opening. Indeed, our COVID protocols have limited our opening ceremony to a reduced number of guests and virtual live streams. That being said, we have ensured that school life continues with as much normality as possible and children have access to a wide range of opportunities in a safe manner. My personal drive for working in a British prep school stems from my own education when I attended an independent boarding school in the UK, for which I cannot thank my own parents enough. I intend to replicate some of my own personal experiences here at Phoenix House, and I'm very excited to bring the best parts of a British and international education to the Phoenix House families. My educational philosophy and vision for the school places crucial importance on a rigorous academic curriculum, but has equal value on the development of self-confidence and character. 
Our school motto, Alice Grave Nil, is incredibly fitting. Nothing is heavy to those who have wings. The Phoenix House team and I intend to provide our children, community and school with everything required to not only fly, but soar. Significant renovation work took place over the summer months, and this is reflected in the interiors of our school building. Two facilities to note are our dance studio, equipped with Harlequin flooring, shipped from the UK, a professional performance floor of the highest standards, and used by the world's leading venues, such as the Royal Ballet in London and the Paris Opera House. A dining hall has been fitted, a very important feature of a British independent education where children learn to socialise and improve their manners in a formal dining setting. We're extremely proud of the facilities that we have to offer, both here in Tokyo and in North Peak in Hokkaido. And as COVID wanes, we will be maximising the use of our North Peak campus and residential lodging in Hokkaido. However, the most valuable resource available to us are the children and adults in this building, and I'm very proud to be working with such an incredible team of talented educators, supportive families, and the wider community. Thank you for being a part of our journey. We will be providing a wide enrichment program at Phoenix House, both through our clubs and throughout the school day. Children will develop a range of skills and we really want to discover areas outside of the classroom environment which our children are deeply passionate about. This will be enhanced through our house programme. In true Harry Potter style, all children and staff have been allocated a house in a very official house sorting assembly. Our wonderful founding house masters join us today. Thank you to Laurie Henderson, Executive Director of the British Chamber of Commerce Japan, our head of Rothesay House. Alison Beale, Director of the University of Oxford Japan office, our head of Snowden House. Daniel Barrett Wood, who could not be with us today, um, the head of Clarence International School, will be our head of Windsor House. And Kirsten O'Connor, Senior Education Advisor for CEA, our head of Oak House. We look forward to working closely with you as our house program continues to develop and the children collect those all important house points. May the best house win. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to thank Musashino University, as well as all of the former Chist parents who are with us for their trust and support. Thank you to the board of directors, Fei Fei Hu and Iyahi Suda for your ongoing support and this wonderful opportunity to forge a pathway and add to the tapestry of educational opportunities in Japan. I would also like to personally say an enormous thank you to Kirsten O'Connor and Ziva Olmers, the Phoenix House Management Committee. Ziva joins us virtually today. I cannot thank you both enough for being available regardless of the time and offering such valuable advice and support. I would like to thank our founding families for supporting the school. I look forward to working closely with our community, building our parent-teacher relationships and setting up the Friends of Phoenix in the coming weeks. Finally, I would like to thank the Phoenix House academic and administration team for energy, enthusiasm and commitment to ensuring that Phoenix House thrives into a truly outstanding school is inspirational and it's a real pleasure to work with you. I'm truly excited about the future of this wonderful school and I'm proud of the progress that we've made over the first five weeks of term. But I look forward to witnessing the ongoing developments over the coming weeks, months and years ahead. I shall now hand over to Her Excellency Ambassador Julia Longbottom to say a few words. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to be with you here today, um, and with some of you in person, 
uh, many more of you online, to officially open your new school, Phoenix House. Thank you for inviting me. First, I'd like to offer my congratulations to Feifei Hu and Ayahisula, Clarence House Asia, and Musashino University for the achievement of building a new British school here in the heart of Tokyo. Phoenix House is the first British school to open its doors since 1989, when the late Baroness Thatcher opened the British School of Tokyo. I know that Clarence Education Asia has ambitious plans to open Rugby School Japan in 2023, a partnership with one of the oldest public schools in England, so that pupils here will have the opportunity to move on to rugby school after finishing here. British style education is known for its outstanding quality and there are increasingly more British schools delivering England's national curriculum, educating children all over Asia. Now let me turn my attention to the most important people here today, the Phoenix House pupils themselves. I, my speech says I'm disappointed not to be able to meet you all today, but I have met a number of you um, in your classrooms uh, as I did a tour of the school earlier, and I was so impressed with the, um, the enthusiasm and the confidence and the, uh, the fun approach that seemed to be going on uh, to learning in the classrooms. Um, but if I had all of you here, um, I would have liked to ask you what you thought about your new amazing school and about your fantastic sports, music and science facilities, which I have seen, um, not just here in Tokyo, but also in Hokkaido, where I hear you have a campus you can escape to, enjoying learning all about the natural world. And it's great to hear about your four houses of, was it, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, <laughs> Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. Uh, oh no, um, not Hogwarts. Um, although, of course, I am a relative to those of you who are Harry Potter fans of the hero, Neville Longbottom. Um, <laughs> however, I'll come back to reality. Uh, your four houses of Rothsay, Oak, Windsor, and Snowdon. You might not be here to learn witchcraft and wizardry like Harry Potter and his friends, but you're here to learn, to think, to grow, and to leave school with the potential of going on to study, whether in the UK or elsewhere around the world. A British education opens doors for you wherever you go. The United Kingdom has been the preferred destination for study for some of the most important minds in history. Did you know that one in four world leaders has studied in the UK? People like Gandhi, Einstein and Oscar Wilde all studied in the UK at some point, as did His Majesty the Emperor and Her Majesty the Empress. So if you're dreaming of achieving big things in your life, you and your parents have done the right thing by choosing a British education. Schools everywhere provide such an important role in bringing our communities together. Now, more than ever, as we recover from the COVID pandemic, we need to reconnect with one another. I hope that through this educational platform of Phoenix House, the students will grow and flourish academically, artistically, socially, and achieve great sporting success under the diligent guidance of their teachers and staff. And I hope that through the presence of Phoenix House in the community, the links between the UK and Japan will grow ever stronger. Thank you once again for your warm welcome today and many congratulations to you all. Thank you very much. Ambassador, thank you very much. Can I now please invite you to officially open the school by unveiling the plaque?
Thank you very much. I would now like to invite the Phoenix House Pupil Choir to perform, led by Miss Ellen Oxenham, our Phoenix House Music Specialist, accompanied by Mr. Tato Parvanov on the piano.
morning. morning. I'm Mika Marcelo. And I'm Yuma Tamura. We are proud year six students here at Phoenix House International School. We are so happy to be here with Her Excellency, Julia Longbottom, and to have this opportunity to welcome all of you to our school today. The legend of the phoenix represents rebirth and a new start. It's a wonderful symbol to represent our school as Phoenix House International School is a new start for everybody. All of us have been welcomed and invited to be a part of this school. Our head of school, Miss Fletcher, has the biggest smile for us every morning, <laughs> and our class teachers are always at the door of our classrooms ready to greet us. In our first assembly together, Miss Fletcher invited us to grasp new challenges and see open doors as opportunities for change and growth. In our first week, we were lucky to be sorted into four different houses, <laughs> Windsor, Oak, Rossay, or Snowden. Knowing we are part of a house help us feel like we belong. Our house system help us to feel valued and to see how we contribute to the school as a whole. Each house has different characteristics and students learn how to be good people by following their house values. Phoenix House has lots of open doors and new opportunities for students. Our day is filled with many subjects like English and math, as well as specialist lessons like art, music, and sports. After school, we're so happy that our school offers so many exciting clubs too. They range from coding and debate clubs to Aikido, ballet, and choir. Being able to walk through so many of these open doors allows us to grow and develop so that we can become well-rounded young people and have more doors open for us in the future. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to being a part of and building the Phoenix House community with you. And now, we would like to thank the ambassador by presenting her with a gift. <laughs> Thank you very much to the Phoenix House Choir and our Year 6 pupils. Now, to close the ceremony, Ms. Fletcher will say a few words. Fantastic performance, Phoenix House Choir, and thank you, Mika and Juma, for your beautiful speeches. Well done, that was fantastic. Thank you all so much for joining us with, oh, I can, with much to be excited about over the coming months and years. We look forward to keeping you all involved and up to date on Phoenix House as it grows and strengthens. To close the ceremony, La Petit Fauche, the excellent catering provider for lunches here at the school, have kindly provided us with coffee and cake from their recently opened coffee shop, Ocean Road Coffee. So please enjoy these and thank you once again for sharing this very special occasion with us. Just before we close the event, we would like to capture this moment in a photograph. So I'll hand over to Emily and Tia to do the honors, but thank you all so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.